Hi guys, Vipin here. Yesterday I made a video on understanding Sensex and today we'll talk about uh, understanding Nifty 50. Now the actual name for Nifty is Standard and Poor uh, Nifty. Now Standard and Poor is a company that is into a variety of services. One of the services that they're into is index design. So when it comes to designing a stock index, it's a very specialized field. And Standard & Poor is the company that is into uh, the designing of these indices. Now, why do we have Nifty alongside Sensex? Why not just have one? Well, actually, people are not really aware of this, but there are many indices. Now, if you see that screenshot there, which, uh, which I've given, I've taken it from Bombay Stock Exchange website. There is a lot more, in fact. I just took whatever I could fit on that screen. There are many indices that is there in Bombay Stock Exchange. There are indices exclusively for small cap companies, mid cap companies and large cap companies. Now I'll do a different video on that itself. But you can see that the number of indices is not just one or two, it's dozens that is there. Now one of the reasons why there are so many indices is because there are different types of traders. Now, an index is a lot like products that are there in a supermarket. You find a variety of detergents, a variety of chocolates, a variety of soaps because the number of customers for each of them are many. Just like that, the stock indices are designed. Now, for example, there is a small cap uh, BSE that is meant for people who want to trade uh, small amounts every day. The values of the stocks that are there in small cap companies is quite small. So you could buy about 100 shares and not even spend 10,000 rupees when you do that. So this is how indices are actually designed by considering the type of trader who is involved in buying and selling as well. Now, why have two benchmark indices? You have Sensex, why Nifty as well? Why can't we just be happy and content with Sensex? Now that's because you have to take into consideration statistics. When it comes to Nifty, you have 50 companies and in Sensex, you have 30 companies. Now, when it comes to measuring the economic performance of India, going by one benchmark is not always considered wise. Now, when you go about studying statistics, when you go about doing research, you have many people whom you go about asking questions. And if you notice, when you go about asking people different questions, the response that you get is different. Now, let's say I was to conduct a review of Transformers 4. Now, when I go about asking a person in his, uh, who happens to be a senior citizen, okay, what do you think about this movie? If a person has seen this, he would usually go about giving a negative review. Because movies like Transformers are not really meant for that particular age group. That are meant for a younger audience. Whereas if I go about asking the younger audience, my answers would always be quite positive. Many people would say, yes, the movie was good. Now, if you look at the difference in the results, you can see why you go about requiring two different indices. In one case, you go about looking at a larger sample. In the other case, you go about looking at a smaller sample. When it comes to Nifty, it's a slightly larger sample than when it comes to Sensex, which is a smaller sample. Now, I've told you in the previous video that there are thousands of companies that are there in India. I can't go about looking at all the companies and look at what's the overall performance of this country. Instead, I'd go about taking a sample. In the first case, when it comes to Sensex, I've taken a sample of 30. In the second case, when it comes to Nifty, I've taken a sample of 50. Okay, based on that, the results I'm going to get is going to be slightly different. And that can be used to go about measuring the economic performance of India. Now, the next thing about Nifty is a pretty interesting fact. The number of trades that happen on Nifty is significantly higher than the number of trades that happens on Bombay Stock Exchange. Now, why is it that many people prefer to trade on National Stock Exchange or Nifty more than the number of people who prefer to trade on Sensex or Bombay Stock Exchange? Now, the reason for that is because Nifty has a more convenient form of trading. 
Now, when it comes to Sensex, when it comes to Bombay Stock Exchange, the method of trading simply uses a broadband connection. Now, when you go about using a broadband connection, the speed at which you could go about trading is quite slow. Okay, But when it comes to Nifty, they go about using satellite connectivity. That is, when you go about buying and selling, it is you, the trading terminal, the satellite up in the sky and another person on the other side. Okay, now when it comes to using satellite connectivity, it is always faster than when it comes to going about using a broadband connectivity. In fact, this is one of the reasons why people prefer to trade in Nifty more and the number of trades, the volume of trades in Nifty is more. You can see there when it comes to a very well-to-do company like Larson and Turbro, Bombay Stock Exchange has just seen about 91,000 trades. Whereas the same company being traded on Nifty has a trading volume of 8, uh, 8,11,000. You can see how wide the difference is when it comes to trading on Nifty. Like I said, it's mostly convenient and it's a speed factor when it comes to Nifty. Also remember that if a company is listed on many indices, the price of the stock does not vary significantly even though the company is listed on different indices. As you can see here, when it comes to Larson and Turbro, the difference between uh, Bombay Stock Exchange price and National Stock Exchange price is just about 60 paisa. You will not see huge differences like Bombay Stock Exchange versus National Stock Exchange like 5 rupees or 10 rupees difference. Uh, there is something called market equilibrium. It may The traders make sure that the prices on both sides are relatively the same. Okay, I hope you understood how Nifty works and uh, do go about uh, giving a like to this video. Oh, and before I forget, when it comes to measuring Nifty and Sensex, both of them use the same method, free float uh, market capitalization. That is, you don't consider the trades done by the big guys, you consider the small shareholders when it comes to the buying and selling. So, like I said, uh, thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Bye and do subscribe to my videos. Thank you.